Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lynn and if you're new, you're most definitely welcome. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscription button and let's jump into the video. So as you can see, I've already done my eye makeup and what I'm doing right now is that I'm applying my black up primer, which is matte. What a primer basically does, it's that it seals out the imperfections, it minimizes pores and allows your makeup to look flawless. And uh, right now I'm using my Pro Concealer Orange Color Corrector. And what I'm doing is that I'm placing it on the areas that I feel they aren't flawless, like uh, the black spot areas. And I'm using my beauty blender to blend it out. Here in the middle of nowhere, there is no there. It is cold there, but I am safe and I am warm. Although it's hard, I know I gotta keep up no time. And now I'm using my Suzy Beauty translucent powder and I'm applying this powder all over my face before foundation i saw this uh beauty hack or beauty trick on youtube and this helps your for those who have oily skin it helps your makeup to stay matte all day or longer than usual and now i'm using my brush to dust it off to drift away I fill my space I spend my time down the rabbit hole and now it's time for foundation I'm using a Revlon photo ready effect uh, or something this is my first time to use this foundation and I can say I loved 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 it uh, the coverage it's medium I could say but it's a foundation that you can build the coverage by adding more yes and now I'm using my uh, foundation brush to blend it out and what you want to do uh, are the jaws of your is it of, of your face <laughs> you want to blend it towards the neck because you don't want to end up looking like you're wearing a mask and same case to where your hairline starts while applying foundation and uh, near the temples of your hairline no question you want to blend your foundation towards your hair because you don't want that part to be left looking like again you're wearing a mask so the next step is a pro concealer i'm using my pro concealer in the shade phone and i'm going to apply that where i want to highlight and that is on my chin on my the bridge of my nose under my eyes and also on my forehead and i'm going to use my beauty blender again to blend it out and what you want to do with all your makeup the secret to good flawless makeup is blending you blend and blend until you can't blend any further To set the areas that I've uh, highlighted or concealed, I'm going to be using my Suzy Beauty translucent powder and you're going to place a good amount on the areas that you highlighted. 
so I'm going to bake for a few minutes as I apply my lipstick and it's Kylie I don't remember the shade but every product that I've used in this video I'm going to leave it in the description box as usual So for the areas that I've not highlighted, I'm going to be using my uh, my sleek sorry sleek uh, pressed powder in the shade medium. And in this video, I'm not going to do the contouring. That will be in a separate video. And yes. And now after baking for a few minutes, I'm going to dust off the powder that. You can see on my face using my powder brush. I'm out of love, but I guess I deserved it. Trying to hide as you buy. I'm getting nine. So now it's time for that highlight and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Glow Kit and I'm using a golden shade that, that I've just shown you and I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones and, and I kind of have to shape my lips like that so that I can see my cheekbones or so that they can be visible. I'm light as air, no one can reach me. Lost in the dream, lost in between. Let's keep on. And the next place I want to highlight is my nose and uh, on my lip, upper lip, as you're going to see. Falling up, I'm falling down from the sky and from the ground. A burn bar just like below. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you've not hit the subscription button, don't forget to hit it. See you next time. Bye guys. Go, and I don't know where